Large deposits of oil and natural gas have been trapped deep below the Earth's surface in reservoir rock. With the help of modern horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing techniques, these deposits are being developed and produced around the world in an environmentally safe and responsible way. Let's take a look at the standard drilling, completion and production process of an oil and natural gas well using these technologically advanced techniques. Once a reservoir has been identified, a surface hole is drilled down below all freshwater aquifers. Since hydrocarbon rich reservoirs are typically a mile or more below the surface, they're well below all fresh water aquifers, which are usually no more than 1,000 feet below the surface. As an environmental precaution, the upper portion of the wellbore is drilled with a water-based mud system, which protects freshwater aquifers, while also cooling the bit and flushing the cuttings to the surface. The mud cakes onto the walls of the wellbore, which helps keep it intact. Once the wellbore is past all water aquifers, steel pipe called casing is inserted into the well and cement is pumped into the casing and out through the bottom of the casing. It's then pushed up between the casing and the hole. This cement creates a barrier between the well and any fresh water aquifers. Then the drilling is continued below the end of the surface casing down to the kickoff point. The kickoff point is the spot where the hole is drilled at an increasing angle until the drilling actually takes place horizontally within the targeted reservoir. This horizontal drilling can continue for 5,000 to 10,000 feet. Once total depth is reached, more protective casing is inserted. That casing is also cemented into place, creating an additional protective barrier through the entire length of the well. This protects both the environment and the well. Once the drilling is finished and the final casing is cemented into place, the drilling rig is released and preparation begins for the next step, completion. Completion begins with the installation of a valve at the surface. Then, a water and gel mixture is used to clean out the wellbore with a bit via a completion rig and tubing in preparation for the perforating run. The perforating guns are then lowered into the horizontal section of the casing via tubing and fired at a predetermined depth, perforating the casing and the rock with perf tunnels that are approximately 30 inches long and a third of an inch in diameter. The perforation guns are then removed in preparation for the next step, hydraulic fracturing. A fleet of pump trucks capable of up to 40,000 horsepower are used to send a mixture of mostly water and sand deep into the wellbore and out into the perf tunnels. This process fractures the rock and the fractures are filled with sand in the fluid to prop the fractures open when pressure is relieved. This provides the trapped oil or natural gas a conductive flow path into the wellbore. Once the hydraulic fracturing treatment is pumped away, a plug and perforating guns, which are controlled at the surface via an electric line, are pumped down the casing. The plug is set to isolate the stage one interval and perforations are shot for stage two. The stage two hydraulic fracturing treatment is then pumped to treat the second set of perforations. This process is repeated along the entire length of the horizontal section of the wellbore. Once the multi-stage stimulation is completed, the frack fleet is rigged down and a workover rig is moved in to drill out the plugs, which allows the oil or natural gas to flow up the wellbore. Finally, a permanent wellhead, otherwise known as a Christmas tree, is installed and the well is turned to flow back. This allows the oil or natural gas to flow and be captured at the surface, where the sales process begins.